My name is Dr. Bill Husty, along with my wife, we're the founders of Husty Dental Care. We live, work, and play in Milford, Michigan. Now, I'm not a YouTuber, but I have been a dentist for nearly 30 years, so let's put that experience to work for you. The technique I'll describe is the one I recommend to my patients. It's very quick, it's very easy, and it calls for items you already have in your home. So let me walk you through it. You're gonna do great. For your safety, please inspect the crown. Of course, we want it to be in one piece. If there's minor cracks, minor chips, not a problem. We wanna make sure that we minimize the chance of it coming off again. If there's any doubt, just leave it off for now. Secondly, please do not even consider for a moment using super or crazy glue. All right, let's get to it. You'll need four items to help put that temporary crown back on. Just some regular standard toothpaste, a toothpick, a Q-tip, and a marker is very handy. What we're gonna do first is practice seating the temporary crown. Before we do that, let's make sure it's nice and clean. Now here's a model of a temporary crown, quite large. Let's get in there, reduce and remove any residue, any temporary cement that was there before. It's usually pretty chalky, uh, very brittle, should come off okay. Uh, give that a rinse and then give that a dry. The next step is to actually try that back on in your mouth. Now let's keep in mind a couple things. Uh, this is a typical shape of a temporary crown. The front or lip side is much longer than the back side. This temporary crown will only fit one way, but be sure to take the longest side and place that near the cheek or lip. So this is a standard model, temporary crown, long side on the outside where the lip is, and I'll seat that. Looks pretty good. Just to make things easy, why don't we mark the front of that crown? That'll be much more helpful later when you put in the temporary cement. Next, we're going to dry the inside of that temporary crown. Take your Q-tip, make sure that's nice and dry. Likewise, and as best you can, go inside your mouth and let's try to dry up the tooth, the prepped area as well. Very good. All right, we're ready to put the temporary cement in. And let's take that, just a little dab actually, just a bit. And let's move that around. You can use your toothpick, pretty handy. And make sure to line that. If you put too much toothpaste in the crown, not a big deal. It'll come off really easily after. And don't forget, here's the black dot. Good, we're ready to put that in our mouth. Seat that, push down, and don't forget to double check and verify that it's down all the way. So bite together. That should be a very familiar, comfortable bite. And any excess toothpaste in the area, I'll just go ahead and let's get that nice and clean. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. The last video I did on this topic was viewed by enough people to fill our University of Michigan's football stadium, so I'm very proud of that. Go blue. <laughs> I got a lot of comments, including a request for a written cheat sheet to follow along, so I've included a link in the video description below. Also, please ask questions and feel free to comment below as well. I can usually respond fairly quickly. Please know I'm very glad to help you out if I can. Now go enjoy your day and take care.